Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So, Taurus, this reading will be for you if you have any Taurus placements or if you're dealing with the Taurus. I hope you're doing well. So, um, I'm going to see what you need to know today. All right, guys. Um, so, I'm going to get one angel number for you to start with and then get straight into your reading. All right, guys. So, one angel message number for Taurus, please. number 19 i am a pioneer okay so it says independence and self-sufficiency are necessity to you i spoke about this in your last reading if you didn't watch your last reading um definitely watch it i, I forgot what i was wearing i was wearing black and gold okay um capable capable okay let me say it again independence and self-sufficiency are necess necessities to you you are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire okay and i'll just kind of speak about briefly what come up in the last reading now um especially if you're um a female uh, a Taurus sometimes it can let's just say um even listen listen I'm a Taurus moon I totally get it okay I totally get it um but sometimes if you're dealing with the opposite sex it can cause issues at times you know but um yeah I'll just if you haven't watched the last reading, definitely watch that. I'll just say that. But um, yeah. Anyways, let's see what you need to know. I'm going to use this deck. All right. Taurus. What does Taurus need to know at this time? What does Taurus need to know at this time? Queen of Pentacles work 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 okay so um let's just see so if you guys you could you could be getting um a good position or your work's really important to you at this time but also something about um it's very nurturing energy so i feel like even if you are busy with work you you still take the time to nurture things around you whether it's um you know obviously yourself your home your friends your family we have the two of wands and the five of swords. Oh, some of you. Got... I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe in coincidences. There's something about you. Why do I feel like you're being challenged? Let's just say maybe there's something around you that um, maybe how people are. Uh, responding to you whether it be friends family love interests you know if you have a partner stuff like that tell me more tell me more about that judgment okay yeah so it's it's can't make this up guys it's literally what i said so um don't want to go deep into it on this channel that's why i created my other one so that i can post content like that just to kind of so we can all you know it's like food for thought but there's something about your work life your independence um which is i i personally think it's helpful because especially if you're a single person you need to be able to eat to pay your bills and stuff like that but there's also people I'm not sure if it's people around you calling you out for that. Like, oh, you're too independent. Let me help you. Uh, you know, things like that. Or not asking for help, you know. Not asking for help. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Tell me more. Two of Wands, Five of Swords, Judgment. Tell me more, please. Some of you guys could have um, air in your chart. We've got all the signs apart from water, actually. Four of Wands. So it's regarding... Um, your relationship or relationships that you had, your family life, okay, um, your living situation. Some of you guys is with a Leo, a Scorpio. The Four of Pentacles. Some of you guys are working so you, is is hmm. Yeah, 
it's for some of you guys it's work and some of you guys it's the mindset as well but i'm getting something's really important to you and it's it's even regards to saving for something very important some of you guys are renovating your house or you're trying to buy a house you're saving for something big right see how big dreams tell me something tell me more about uh taurus please the magician you're making things happen it's like you've had a taste of something, you t taste of success, taste of, you know, um, what life could be like if you do X, Y, Z, you know, and you're making it happen. All right. I want to pick up on who is feeling this way towards you. Tell me about this other person in Taurus's life, please. So Taurus will know who it is. So we have the nine of cups. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We've got the devil and the king of wands. Could be a Capricorn, a fire sign or, or a water sign. But I'm picking up on this person who is very attracted to you. Very, um, I don't want to say, uh, let's just say they could be quite, I don't want to say obsessive. Hopefully they're not controlling um, or toxic, but. It's like they'd like to be able to take the lead or they'd like to be... Right, tell me more about this person. Ten of Wands. They want to help... They want to take... Um, they want to take some of the responsibility for, like, what you're doing and stuff like that. Take, like, a burden. Oh, the Judgment and the Ten of Wands. Okay. I, okay. Judgment, Ten of Wands. Um, it's like someone's feeling or, th or thinking, you know, Taurus does all these things. How could I possibly compete? Where do I, where do I fit into their life? What could I do that they are not already doing? Um, for some of you guys, it's as simple as um, Taurus. You, it could be as simple as, you know, well, you know, I've got to make sure this is, um, I've got X, Y, Z. If you've got children, got to make sure they, they looked after and stuff like that. What? Where's, where's this coming from, from Taurus's side? The sun. Some of you guys just simply love it. It's, it's who you are. It's how you are. And you know what? It's funny because um, even in regards to like other Tauruses that I may um, not to do with tarot, but like... Um, like well-known Tauruses, um, celebrities or, or influencers or whatever it is. And I'm like, I get it. I get, I see how they are. And it's just like multitasking, doing this and doing that. So it's very much in your nature. It just makes you happy. The Eight of Pentacles, literally can't make it up. The Sun and the Eight of Pentacles, your work makes you happy. Um, and some of you guys are forever studious. Like you have so much to achieve. You have so much to achieve. It's like somebody can't keep up with you or catch up to you or, you know, say, for example, if you're able to get yourself, not so much for the male um, Tauruses, because obviously men oper operate differently to women, especially like very masculine men. You work hard, you save and you save in four of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Five of Wands. Very competitive at times as well. A competitive nature, which I feel, I feel is healthy to be competitive. You know, it makes you want to uh, do better. Okay, it, it it makes you think outside the box. You know, I feel like it is good. Tell me more, please. The Knight of Wands. Oh, okay, I get it. So basically, many of you are doing this so that you can be like just, oh, some of you guys have Aquarius in your chart. Some of you guys definitely have Aquarius in your chart. If you do, check that reading out. There's something about you wanting to not have to work this hard the whole of your life and wanting to be able to be do things that you actually, even if you enjoy your job right now, could be things that, you know, that you love to do and you don't have yeah that's it 
Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands and the Eight of Swords. You don't want to have to be stuck doing something forever. So maybe you're working extremely hard so that you can put your feet up. You can let your hair down, okay? Experience other things in life. All right, so... All right, I'm going to quickly do... That kind of feels like general. That feels general. So I'm going to do a quick love reading. Just like literally a couple of minutes because my food just... My air fryer just finished my food, yeah? And listen yeah all right okay what can you tell me in regards to taurus and their love life right now please because that could be simply friends family it doesn't have to be a love interest okay tell me about taurus and their love life right now please the nine of cups some of you guys are very content so you feel like you're happy in re regardless if you're um uh single in a relationship tell me more please let's see the star oh taurus <laughs> regardless of what your relationship status is at this time i feel like you're happy regardless and i can i that previous reading is showing me why because you're making things happen. So it's like it's like you're feeling not I don't want to say feeling yeah, so you could say feeling the void, but it's also um achieving certain things that are making you feel good. But not everyone's gonna get that. No, you know what, guys? Do you do you know, keep doing you. Tell me more about um Taurus and their love life. The Empress. Some of you guys may hear about a pregnancy. I asked about your love life. So some of you guys, it, it could be you enjoying being a parent. Some of you guys, you could be uh, thinking about having children or having more children, okay? Nine of Cups to start the, the Empress is like almost like floating on the clouds. It's almost like, I'm, oh God, you can tell I'm a Pisces, isn't it? Um, it's like... You feel really good. You feel really good. But, like, are you dating anybody? The magician. Some of you guys can be dating a, um, an Aries, a Taurus, an Aquarius, a water sign. The high priestess. We've got Pisces there. Some of you guys um, is, is keeping things private. Um your relationship like your moves and stuff like that seven of wands exactly so some of you guys are protecting your connection right now and it, it, it may not so much protecting but just kind of you know seeing how it goes or especially if it depends if you're like a single and you're dating people it's like let's see how it goes but i do see you guys being very private about that Especially with the High Priestess and the Seven of Wands right next to each other. Because you've probably got no one in your business to, to put their two cents in. Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers. Some of you guys are in a relationship or will meet somebody that you can invest time and energy into, love into. Possibly a baby as well for some of you guys, more children. Or some of you guys may, may be your grandchildren, okay? Okay, air fryer, I hear you. Um, that's my air fryer reminding me that I've got food in there still. Um, okay. Yeah, it could be a Gemini for some of you guys. This is probably the ninth best um, love reading that you guys have had. Like the place that you're in, in regard whether you're in a relationship or single, it's like, I'm enough. I am enough which is, that's just beautiful. All right, last message for you guys. Knight of Cups. Some of you guys are going out dating, okay? Spending time with each other, maybe travels as well. Some of you guys, it could be somebody that you dated in the past and, and things um, never went anywhere or you're dating because you feel like you could have missed say like if for the ones who have been working hard and not really focused on relationships it's like well I've kind of missed out on that let me let me get out there a bit more and you know let me just 
you know experience like have nice times page of pentacles so this person could be an earth sign for some of you guys but i'm getting like it doesn't feel rushed it feels like going with the flow some of you guys could be dealing with the aries that come out in their reading as well but it's kind of like let's see where this goes or just enjoying what you have okay and i absolutely love that guys love it okay i'm gonna leave it there guys if you'd like a personal reading all the information's in the description um i may be going away in the next i will be going away um in the next two weeks i haven't booked the holiday yet but i'm definitely going away so best time like if you want a person i'll let i'll keep you guys posted okay but if you've emailed me about a personal reading probably best to get it in within the next week or so because i won't be doing as many readings while i'm away i will do some readings while i'm on holiday but um not as much because it's a holiday and you know i'm gonna be out and stuff so when i get my free time i'll absolutely do it because you know i love to but anyways i'm gonna leave it there guys please like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in your next reading bye guys